Hi, Lou here. I am going to show you my aquaponics 2.0. And of course it started to rain as I started to do this video. So, here it is, and I'm going to explain it as we go. All right, so there's a pump down in there. It pumps up that black pipe that I have no idea if you can see. It comes up into that bucket. It then is acting as a cleaner. Uh, the bucket acts as a cleaner for the water. Kind of lets the sediments filter out, and at some point I'm going to have to redo that because I have no way to clean it out without disconnecting it completely. Um, it runs down into here, and I, as you see, I don't have a lot of plants yet, so I want to see if it even works for the ones I've got. This is a squash. These are all various forms of hot peppers. It go, runs down, goes back in, which provides some aeration for the pond that my sons and I actually dug ourselves with shovels, and it was not fun, because it was a lot of quartz and... Uh, clay. It was very, very heavy, hard work. Uh, ran the wiring up from my office. You can see the redneck pipe that I ran from the downspout up on that uh, roof of my office so that we get, so that this is getting refilled with fresh rainwater all the time. One major downside is all these trees, including the pines, are just dumping stuff down in here. It's already filled like half the pond up in a year, uh, so I'm going to have to do something. I've had fish in here that were salvaged from the aquaponics I'd had before. I have a video called Failed Aquaponics, and that's exactly what it was. And I took, I think I had three fish that had barely survived that out of like hundreds. And put them in here, and apparently they bred, and now there's at least six new fish in here so hopefully this will also serve to uh, clean this out a little bit so the poor fishies will be a little happier you know, oh there's one one of my little baby fish yay hope it came out if I get any closer they run away so um, but I ran the wiring down and my goal is to use a 50 gallon barrel uh, up on the slope over there to uh, be the filtration system. I'll set it up so I can then drain it from the bottom to get the sludge out, you know, all the sediments and things like that. And hopefully that'll improve uh, output and all that stuff. So, anyways, that's, that's what I got so far. We'll see what happens. Seems to be working okay, though. None of this is... Um, field it's all dry fitted so that if and when I have to redo it because something I did was wrong I can do that um, or I can expand on it and that's about it for now